All right, let's turn to football now as the Ravens hosted a special guest in training camp at Owings Mills today. We're talking about Maryland Governor Wes Moore going to practice. That's right. Sports Director Mark Viviano has an update on what the governor had to say about a pressing issue in Baltimore sports. Mark. You guys know the term political football? How appropriate <laughs> today, right? Well, Governor Wes Moore proclaims he is a fan of the Ravens and the Orioles, but in his position as a politician, he has to do more than root for the home teams. He has to negotiate major deals to keep them in place. Governor Wes Moore is comfortable on the football field. A wide receiver in his college days at Johns Hopkins, he says he caught passes from Ravens QB Lamar Jackson in Owings Mills on Monday. Wearing a Jackson jersey, the governor addressed a burning issue about Baltimore's baseball team and the still unsigned lease that commits the Orioles to continue to play at Camden Yards. The current 30-year lease expires at year's end, and both sides have said a new deal might be done a month ago. But with that time now passed, concerns rise among Maryland policymakers and fans about the future of the Orioles in Baltimore. The governor had this response. I remain very encouraged. We are going to get this deal done. Uh, there, will be there will be baseball in Baltimore for generations to come, and it's going to be with the same type of focus on how we're thinking about the work with the Ravens, where it's both creating a winner on the field and then also making sure that we're building winners outside as well, our entrepreneurs, our small businesses, our communities. Governor Moore recently appeared at an Orioles game to serve as the guest Mr. Splash in the outfield seating area, and he threw out the first pitch on opening day in April. And while in Owings Mills on Monday, he spoke of his admiration for the Ravens. This is an organization that really is fully committed to making sure that we are, uh, we are building and rebuilding and supporting Baltimore and the state of Maryland in a really powerful way. When pressed for details about the Orioles' lease deal, the governor said he does not negotiate in public, but private talks, he says, are ongoing, talks that he says keep him optimistic. See if the fans feel the same way. Back to you. All right, Mark, good stuff. Thank you.